Welcome to the Force Tutorials Maya Masterclass. In today's video, we're gonna discuss what are isopalms. Now, so far, in order to edit our objects, we've been working with control vertexes, that is your CV. There is another way you can edit your object, and that is through isopalms. So, in order to access the isopalms, you need to select your object and go to your component menu. And here you can get access to your isopalm. As soon as we are in the isopalm mode, you can see that the object has turned blue. For better comparison, you can think of the isopalm as an insert edge loop. So as soon as we click on one of these edges, you can see that it's gonna give us this line and when we leave our left mouse button it's gonna give us this dotted line now so far nothing has happened the reason we have this dotted line is because now we can apply other commands to this line for example we can split the object at this line we can insert another isopalm which will be similar to inserting an edge loop so let's do that let's go to our surface menu and select insert isopalm as soon as we click on that, you can see that we have now added another isopalm or uh, edge loop to our object. You can do that to the vertical lines as well. So if we go back into our isopalm mode and select the vertical line, you can see that we can add another vertical line anywhere in the object. And as soon as we leave that, you can see that we have added another vertical isopalm and we can add another isopalm to this place. And I also talked about splitting the polygon you can also do that with the isopalm let's split the object from here and go to our surface menu and select detach now that we have selected the detach command you can see if we go into our object mode both of these objects are now separate similarly you can attach by selecting both of those surfaces going to your surface menu and selecting the attach command but selecting the attach command will give you a different result it will give you three meshes the first one being your attached mesh and the other two being your separated meshes so this command is really helpful if you want to add more detail to your NURBS object. You can add an isopalm anywhere on that object and then use the extra vertices to shape that object according to your need. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, drop a comment. And if you want to support me directly, the link to my merch store and my Patreon is in the description down below. And I'll see you in the next video.